Hello again. Now this is part two of the uh, basic sharpening videos where, uh, as you saw in the last one, um, a sharpening a chisel from basic from the shop straight away. All sharpening your chisels off site. But the very basics of how to sharpen them without all the fancies to go with it. This second part we're going to be doing planes. Now, <clears throat> we have two basic standard planes, and there's a whole range of planes, but we're only going to cover the two basic standards, which are your, your bench planes, your standard planes, and your block planes, the small block planes. Um, now, the, the bench planes, they come in numerous sizes and for numerous jobs. The angles can be set by professional joiners, cabinet makers, to many different angles, depending on what you want that plane to do. But there is a basic, and the basic is what we're going to do. Again, with the block plane, it depends on what you want it to do. But again, we have a basic, and we're going to concentrate on that. Later on, I do another video, which will be covering all these different types of pointing guides, and how you can get different angles on different ones, and what they're for. That will come on to later. For now, we just want to take a standard plane and sharpen it up without knowing anything else. And now our standard block plane and sharpen it up. Now the basic plane, bench plane, is very similar to the chisel. You've got a 25 degree angle and you've got a 30 degree angle. The size, millimetre size of spacing is slightly different, but in general, the sizes are the, the angles are the same. But in general, the angles are the same. Right, take your plane iron out. Give the plane a good clean out. It needs it. Aligning the, the, the stock will come on to it later on. First, we just want to deal with the blade. Remove the fog from the back by just slackening and sliding it off. Again, clean this. Now this piece should also be checked and make sure that it's sitting flat. If it's a new one, it'll be okay. If it's not, we will give it a flatting. But that, if you've bought a new one, will be okay for now. This again is what we're going to concentrate on. But the first thing is we just want to make sure the back is nice and flat. Like we did with the chisel. Onto the fine stone. Lay it flat with the barrel uppermost, lay it flat on the stone and just polish it off. Now if you bought a new one, these will need lapping a lot to be able to get that polish. Or if it's never been done, which many people will buy a plane and just use it straight from the shop and they won't prepare it first. You'll never get a very good edge on it because factories get these things and grind them up in bulk to a basic standard. They don't fine tune them. That's what you need to do when you first buy it. And if you do, after that, it'll be lovely. Going for the mother finish here. Nearly got it, I know. Right, okay. Now we can concentrate on the front bevel. Going back again to our warning guide and our blocks of wood. This time with the plane, 25 degrees is 50 millimeters. And again, this time we're putting it onto the top bed. Bevel down onto the top bed if this is the type you're using and put on your spacer and just make sure it's setting level. That's good. Lock it off good and tight. You don't want anything moving. Okay, now we'll give a few shorts first, see how much work we've got to do on this. We have a lot of work to do. This one's dish. Okay, so I'm going to go onto the course. 
as you can see there I'm getting contact top and bottom which means this must have been sharpened on a wheel a little water and away we go right feeling for the burr now and I'm virtually there I can't see the tip so it's just about got it you just feel until you've got a a burr all the way along. And I can just feel that there. So that there now is ready for the next stage. You'll see there. That is now clean up to the edge. Now we need to polish that up. And we'll polish it up by going down in the other grades. Starting with the coarse one, working down to the fine. And don't be in a rush. The shinier this is, the sharper it will be. taking the burr off by laying it on the back again and just a couple of slight strokes and again now don't need to be too brilliant with this because we're going to put another edge on this in a minute and there is a nice shiny edge Now what we want to do is put on a second edge. This is the horned edge. For this, we'll adjust the honing guide to the 30 degree. This time it's 38 millimeters, but still 30 degrees, set it Now remembering, you're just honing the very tip. So just a few strokes on your fine block and that's it, that's all you need. Check that they're going even. And then do the back. Take that burr completely off this time. So a couple that way, a couple that way. About three times should bring it off. And there you can see the horned edge. You'll see the double bevel and how shiny it all is. That's what you're looking for. And that is how to sharpen your standard bench plane iron. Put it back onto the fog. Now when you align it with the fog, be careful not to use, not to let this fog hit your tip. It's very sharp and very nice. Bring it back. Let it pass and then bring it back to where you want it. Now you want it just a couple of mil, three at the most, from that tip. That'll do another one. And then lock that up. Check it's still right. Just a bit showing there, that's what you're looking for. Keep it set back just that little bit. That's all it needs. Now again, if you're doing different jobs, 
that will be set differently as well. But that's for more advanced. This is just your basic setting up. Goes in, fog on top, bevel on bottom. Sit it into your iron, like so, on the stock. Wind it back, make sure everything is nice and level. Now when you put the clamp on, see, that's loose. That doesn't want to be loose, that wants to be just there, perfectly. It just nips it as it gets it. Line everything up, and then lock it on. And that will hold tight. Once you've got it set, wind your wheel until you can just feel it's starting to protrude. As it starts to protrude, the other edge should be exactly the same. If it's not, adjust the lever. Now I've had to take my nose right a bit there, because it was off, but that doesn't matter. Just make sure that is sitting level. And then wind it back. Now believe it's sticking out, or you'll blunt your tip before you get to use it. Also, when you ever put one down, always lay it on its side. Never lay it on its face, because you will shorten the life of the sole and of the blade. Lay it on its side, much better. Okay, and that is your basic bench plane. Now, let's take the block plane. The block plane, pretty much the same. Easier. Blade is pretty much the same. Except you're only doing the one angle this time. Single angle, 25 degrees, and it's on the top in the plane. Okay, but again, still, do the back first. Even if it's an old plane you've had it for ages, do the back just to check. Make sure nothing's gone wrong while it's being used. Things can warp, things can get dented, you never know. This is terrible. Okay, I've found a blade here, just to show you exactly how we do this. It's pitted. Well, not pitted, but it's got dirt marks on, like rust, like it's been out in the bad weather or something. Um, it needs to go, we can't have that. We need that to be shiny. Also, this blade I can feel has been honed on a wheel. So again, it needs taken right back. So I'm getting coarse on the back, straight away, because I'm re-grinding this completely. Because we want rid of all that. Okay, and I think that is now about as good as we're going to get it. You can see that. Blemishes are all gone. Right, that's what you're needing. Next, let's start on the other side. So the first thing we're going to do is take the honing guide again and set it in like we did with the big blade and take the one marked 25 Degrees. Now, if you haven't got one of these, if you haven't made one of these yet, um, it's 50 mil. It, if you've got a honing guide like this, it tells you one there as well. So it's nice and simple. 50 mil, snap it up nice and snug like so, and then lock it up. Now, because it's got this bevel on it, that um, I suspect was done by um, a grinding wheel, it would have been a water stone, I would imagine. This was um, one of my father's, so it's been sitting around for 20 years already anyway. Um, it's uh, a water stone one, because that's what he used. Quite commonly, he used water stones. And uh, the big stones, so they give you a very minimal curvature, but they still give you a curvature. Okay, so I'm gonna start off on the coarse one, because it is, as I say, that bevel and then we'll work as well now. Finishing on the ultra fine. Uh. 
and that I would say is plenty enough. That's given us a nice shiny finish to that. Bevel on the back, same as before. Let's get that out of your way just in case you're blocking it. Same as before, bevel on the back. Uh, burr on the back of it. Bevel on the back, don't do that. Burr on the back, just remove it, couple of strokes each way until it disappears. That's lovely. Right, there you are. I think you can see the bevel there. Nice and clean. And the back, nice and clean. So that's what we want. Now that is ready for the finest of works. Give you a lovely clean shape of that. Don't forget, oil. Get your rag, it's been covered in water. Don't be shy with the stuff. Plenty of oil on there. If you forget, it'll be brown tomorrow. And then back in, remembering bevel up. Put it back in, locating on your top there. Plug again in so that it just fits in there. And square it up and lock it up. <coughs> back it off. You do this with old planes, you back them off until you're just protruding. When you're just protruding, you should feel the sharpness at both ends evenly. And that is beautiful. Back it off, pull it. And that's it. Okay, so that's plane. That's your block plane done, and that's your bench plane done. Now, as I say, there's a vast array of other sharpening processes to go through. Um, but for this, I just want to keep to very basics. I'll be running other videos to show you how to restore or, or bring into pristine condition a new plane if you get one and how to uh, flatten the base, get it all perfect. You need that. If you haven't got that, there's no point having a perfectly beautiful edge because it's going against a crooked base and then you won't get clean lines. Um, so we'll do that all that later. Same with your block plane and many other planes having different angles what the angles are and I'm also going to come on to chisels how to do that but for now okay so that's the end of basic sharpening next time I'll be covering more involved more in depth so keep checking back see what videos I'm running next we'll be going through everything eventually just one after the other after the other get better and better and better pick up the ones you need leave the rest okay right well thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next time bye for now